today is Sunday the 8th, making today's math build, destroy. Build on a positive and destroy the negative within your cipher. Peace. Peace. Welcome to the You're Not A Mean Godcast. I am Lord Jamal. And I'm Digger Digger. And we back once again. Once again. Uh-huh. Brand Nubian. Flip Mode Squad. That's how we do. In health. Lyrics matter. Oh, yeah. Okay. Make sure y'all cop that. Shout out to hoodgee.com. Yes. Okay. Go get your uh your garments uh from hoodgee.com. You're, you're not a mean. You're brand newbian. Your your lyrics matter. Your rod digger gear. Go check us out. Um, and if you like what we do with the show from week to week, the content we bring you, uh, definitely, you know, Shoot us a donation at cash.me slash dollar sign you're not a mean, patreon.com slash you're not a mean, or you're not a mean dot com slash support. Or if you want to just donate to us personally, I mean, I can always use some groceries. Bars for oh. bread. That's, <laughs> that's my cash app. Bars the number four bread. <laughs> Bars for bread. Bars for bread. I like it. Word. So today... You know, we're going to get right into it. Um, you see, I got my Philadelphia Flyers hat on. Okay. Um, because today I want to talk about a hip-hop city. Okay. And that hip-hop city is Philly. Shouts out to Philadelphia. Shouts out to Philadelphia. Now, we have two Philadelphia MCs here today. That's going to be joining us a little later. Um, but it, and, and it just so happened they're both from Philly. And I said, you know what? Philly has a real, has, has been really entrenched in hip hop since the beginning. You know, and I don't know if they get the recognition that they should get in hip hop. You know, they might be a little overshadowed by New York and, and just, you know, New York rappers and shit like that. Some of them have even been mistaken for New York rappers. Um, New York always trying to overshadow shit. Yeah. Jersey, Philly, yeah. we got the best yeah. bitters yeah. anyway, but, you know. But I but, could be biased. Well, listen, <laughs> I'm going to tell you, like, there's a lot of dope fucking MCs. Oh, yeah. From Philly that I could think of. Cassidy, fucking Freeway, mm -hmm. fucking, um, you know, Beanie Seagull. I mean, from like, the beginning of time. Yeah, well, shit. We, we could start with Schoolie D. Okay, like right like Schoolie D, who's influenced people such as Ice T, as we right. were corrected before. Right. <laughs> so that's, it's not Spoonie G, it's Schoolie D. As we were so, uh, yes, strongly corrected. But I do got a hip hop fun fact. What's that? Spoonie G uh, uh, called out Schoolie D for biting his gangster rap style really did he yeah mm. so that's interesting do, well, do you do you have uh the record that this uh was it on a record or was this just like um i will tell you in the media or something like that no actually let's see it was called do, 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 do. that's my style okay <laughs> it was called that's my style. that's my style yeah on which he attacked schooly d for copying his style Okay. Wait, wait. So you wait, wait. Uh, look, that just. <laughs> <laughs> so wait. Hip hop fun fact. Ice T made the record against Schoolie D, not the other way around. No, 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 not Ice T. Um. Schoolie D made a record to Ice T. No, 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 no. Spoonie G. Oh, Spoonie G. Spoonie G oh. got a record called "That's My Style," where he's calling out Schoolie D. Oh, because he says I wasn't even hearing correctly. Because he says he's the Godfather mm. of gangster rap. So you know, it's interesting. <laughs> A little interesting fact I I learned in in the process of researching you know, my you know being. We're corrected. gonna have to bring Spoonie G in because mm. you know, like I said, to me Spoonie G's. His rap was a little more pimpish to me. Like, like it was kind of smooth. I don't know if I would say. 
See, see now I would ha- now we would have to listen to this record. And, yeah, and, 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 like like because figure out what like the you got to understand like Schoolie D that joint P S K. Yeah, like people always ask what like P S K still stood for Parkside Killers. That was a gang. Yeah. You understand? So this was like one of the first dudes that actually got on a record shouting out a real street gang. Mm. Like Spoonie G was saying some street shit. I don't know if it was necessarily considered gangster shit. Mm. I don't know, but but that whole PSK shit, that's the first time like when we found out what that was, it was like, "Whoa." That was a little like people always like, yo, say. Yo, this dude's in a gang. They said, yo, that PSK, that's Parkside Killer. Oh, word. Okay. So, I don't know who bit what, but yeah, just a little sidebar. As far though. as one of the first ones that represented, got, got, got rep- represented Philly. from Philly yeah. and had a hard ass record that got played in New York, Schooly D. That's all I know. That's um, right. I mean, hey, we got we got present day. Uh, Goats in Philly, um, male and female. Bahamadia mm-hmm. is mm-hmm. arguably a female goat. Okay. Uh, Philadelphia native. Um, Black Thought. Absolutely. Philadelphia. Now, listen, whether whether you like it or not, I know his shit was kind of corny, but at the time, it was what was needed. Yo, Fresh, Fresh Prince, Prince was a bad motherfucker. And this motherfucker was at the heights of fame. You know, he was up there on tour with, like, Run DMC and Houdini and all of that. And, you know, yep, we actually could have spoken about him, you know, in that episode of, of artists of that time. Um, and, and Jazzy Jeff, I mean, to this day, as a DJ, this what? motherfucker Greatest is of like, all time. first of all, he might have been the first one to do the Transformer scratch on a record, as far as I remember. Um, and that was like light years ahead of his time. That was like, you know, and I started as a DJ when that transformer shit came out, it was like, we didn't think scratching can go any further. And now here comes this transforming shit. It was Mm -hmm. like, holy shit. They didn't make enough noise for me. Give them another transformer scratch, Jazzy. One more transformer. So yeah, like like that. Um, we got Meek, we got Eve, we got Left yeah, Eye. Hold, hold up, Produ- you got you, oh. you, you. You're moving real oh. fast oh, because you're going past. You okay, see, oh, we that's going your old of- umbilical cord again. <laughs> Shut up. I'm sorry. She's still stuck to the umbilical cord. I'm I'm sorry. You, you Let's go in- past people like we gotta go in chronological order. Cool, well, Cool C and Steady B. Okay, yeah. the brothers that did the bank robbery, Daddy the B. glamorous life. Yo, that was my job. You got it. The glamorous oh, oh, life. Oh. Hell yeah! In the early days of videos, and that was some video music box shit. Matter right. of fact, shout out to Ralph McDaniel's. His uh, his anniversary shit is coming up. His show's coming up. We're gonna be on there. Um, you you oh oh don't forget my man E S T the Acnicodus one. Greatest the greatest man, man alive. alive. Three times dope. Three times dope. Like, yeah. like, this was in the prime of like when New York was running shit. But somehow, uh, Philly was always making their way. Like, like, I guess it's part of the close proximity. First of all, Philly's only an hour and a half from New York. Mm-hmm. So it wasn't hard for a lot of those motherfuckers to hop in a car. And take a ride to New York and I guess go to one of these record companies and, and you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And be like, I got some shit too. Um, I don't know the whole history as far of independent hip hop labels in Philly. Maybe, you know, people in the comments will, will, will fill us in on shit like that. Um, but yeah, those are some of the, the artists from that time. You see what I'm saying? Right. Now we can start bringing it up more okay. to the more now we can come to <laughs> more current um, 
And 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 trust me, somebody's gonna say, "Oh, how are you gonna leave out such a listen?" Y'all got us. Coming. We 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 going <laughs> off the head, okay? Um, with a lot of this shit, which is also a whole debate too that I think we should have one day as as far as off the head rhymes versus written rhymes. Hmm. Can they be as good? Can I mean when you're just pulling something out your ass on at the very last moment, or you know? Is it better to really take time with your shit and study and, and I, I, I'm a, you know what I mean? I'm I'm part of that team. I'm part of that team. Ha- as hashtag well. write it down. Hashtag <laughs> write it down. Hashtag think about it before you say it. Yep. Um. Yeah. So anyway, go ahead. We got some of the 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 the, the, the like we said black thought and the roots. Right. Um. Bahamadia. Yep. Uh. Corrupt. Is a Philly native. Corrupt. That people uh, probably forget. You know, they associate him so much with the L.A. rap scene that he's a Philly native. Beanie Siegel. Oh, yeah. Freeway. Yep. Um, You know. Yep. Gilly Petey, the Kid. Petey Crack. Petey Crack. That's a shout out to my nigga Petey Crack. So, I fucks with Petey. He's so hard body. Word. Oh, word. I've been fucking with Petey. Shout out to my man Henny Lokes. Um, Jedi Mind Tricks. Jedi mind tricks, fucking army of the pharaohs. Keep going, keep going. Uh, we got Asher Roth. Asher <laughs> Roth is from Philly. Asher yeah? Roth is from Philly. I got some fresh white boys from Philly. <laughs> Cassidy gotta probably be one of my favorite. Oh yeah, from Philly, like this motherfucker. Shout out to Miss J. She from Philly too. This motherfucker Cassidy is just he nasty. <sighs> Like, okay, let's talk about this, too. What is it about Philly rappers? Like, what is in that Philly, in those Philly cheesesteaks, okay, that got these motherfuckers <laughs> rapping so ill? Shout out to Max's. Shout out to Ishka Bibbles. Um, I, shout I, out to, I can tell you what it to is. the God Divine, Zaid at Mitchell and Ness, okay, who always take care of the God every time I come through. I appreciate you, God. Shout out Mitchell and Ness. Um, but yeah, what's in the motherfucking cheesesteaks that got these motherfuckers rhyming at such a high level? And y'all about to witness what the fuck I'm talking about. I can tell you what it is. What is it? It's the same thing with Jersey. I think that for so long... Like artists from Philly and artists from Jersey, it's like we've always been overshadowed by New York. It's always been like a subliminal competition to be better, you know, to outshine rappers from New York. And aside from that, I think just the whole aesthetic of the city is such a gritty place. Like to me, Newark and Philly are kind of one in the same in terms of like grit level. <laughs> and. You know, the product of those environments are these rappers and they're trying to get on. And like I always said, like I always thought it was a New York thing. Like people on TV seem real far away. Like TV seemed like out of space until I saw Queen Latifah. And it was like, oh, shit, a girl from down the street is doing it. So then, like, that's when the wheels, you know, shit started clicking for me. Like, wait a minute. This is actually an attainable goal. Mm. Like, there's a girl from Jersey mm-hmm. that went, that's going to school down the street on the TV. That's how I felt seeing Grand Poobah walking through the mall or some shit in the Rochelle. Like, oh, wow, there goes a dude that made that, a record. You know what I mean? Because he made records before Brand New Jeans. They right. had a group Master Ceremony, um, which I was just... Had the privilege of just being around these motherfuckers at the time. You know what I mean? I just just think for so long, you know, I mean, New York is the cornerstone of hip hop. I just think for so long, you know, there was always this like, oh, like this light over New York rappers that everybody outside of that uh, spectrum was like, hold up, hold up. I got bars. Well, see, (laughs) listen, I can totally relate because you see, we're from Westchester. Now, at the time that we were coming up in hip hop, it was all about the five boroughs. Mm. Like if you wasn't from the five boroughs or, or, wasn't Brooklyn, or deeply Bronx. entrenched in the five boroughs, I don't know, but somehow fucking Long Island squeezed itself in 
to, <laughs> to that five borough mix early, like because wow. EPMD, Rakim, but they had a kind of Brooklyn connection too, mm. or whatever. Mm. Um, but at that point, it seemed all five boroughs. So for a lot of Westchester rappers, we was feeling the same way that a Jersey or mm. a Philly okay. was feeling. You Makes understand? Sense. Until we got like Heavy D, mm. okay? Like Heavy D showed us like, oh shit. Like I used to rhyme at the same parties that this dude was rhyming, Mount Vernon High School parties and all this type of shit. Like, but now he made a record and he's doing it big, like at a big level. Like, because Master Ceremonies, them, Master Ceremonies and them made records and they had a couple of hits but it wasn't to that like MCA, you know, it was yeah. on an independent label and it wasn't like how Heavy D and them, they was like mainstream fucking stars. Like, but they, again, how, what, what you saw with Latifah. Right. This is a dude from around the way. So now it's a little more attainable, mm -hmm. but shit, you got a lot of spitters from Westchester. Right on. You know what I mean? Brand newbie in the locks. Fucking, you know what I mean? DMX. Fucking like, you. it was that same tenacity. So I understand what you're saying. And it just seems like, I don't know, Philly. I guess the further away you are from New York, the more you might feel away, though. Mm. You understand? Cause like we yeah. might have felt the Cause, way, cause I but feel maybe like, not as much as y'all did in and New York. And, and I feel and like some Philly. I feel like some Jersey artists confront like they were from New York. Sidebar, you see that there's a fly buzzing I know. around, I, bothering I, the shit out of me. It's, it's taking everything I that wanna, I have. I don't want to murder it. Not though. to leap out my chair and fuck this fly up. I'm I'm, I'm gonna catch and release. I'm gonna catch and. I'm release. trying to keep it right like, here with it, but I want to. I'm gonna catch and release. Um. <laughs> We don't like can't, to murder things. Can't, here can't, on can't the, kill a fly. On the, on the Godcast, we're not murderers. It's too many, you know, mm -hmm. to be fly See, protests. We, we wouldn't even hurt a fly in this motherfucker. <laughs> but, but, but anyway. Fucking that uh, fly. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so, but I think the further you get away from the source, you know, yeah. which undeniably New York is the source like and and even if new york if hip-hop travels wherever the fuck it travels um new york will always be the source like it's mm -hmm. just that's what it is um yeah people start to feel a certain way you know what i mean and, right. and like yo fuck that i could do that shit too mm -hmm. and then that's when you get some shit you know so philly definitely um Word. has put itself on the map as far as legendary hip hop and their sound though is is is, is definitely more Spitter. New York yeah like boom, that's a jersey thing boom bap that's a jersey thing it's a jersey you the, think their sound is a jersey sound the 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 the, the spitter spitter the 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 rapidy rap definitely uh, we're, we're definitely more rapidly rap than than New York. Like New York is kind of swagged out with it, or maybe maybe certain sects of New York. Cause yeah. I, Cause I feel like the Harlem rappers were all swaggy, and I feel like Jersey rappers were like kind of scuffy. Yeah, yeah. And I see. I put like I I put the like red man with the the tissue in the nose. Like I equate that to like Meek Mill with the fuzzy braids. Not to say that this wasn't going on in the Bronx and Brooklyn like all day. Or like I feel like you know, forget just rap. Like we're more battle rappy but oriented. Like, I forget think. just rap. The cities themselves. Like I feel like Newark especially, and and like Philly. Yo, at some point, I feel like they tried to out New, out New York, New York as far as like the grittiness the yeah. and the crime and, that, yeah. and how. Oh, you think y'all is ill in New York? Watch how you fucking I'm, what we do out here. The and now it's the, the rhyming point, and the criming. It's to the point that New York has actually calmed down from what it used to be like, yeah. and it seems like a lot of these cities are still trying to. 
go after the reputation that Y'all full of New juice York bars. used to have. New York got a bunch of juice bars, and we got a bunch of chicken shacks. Okay. <laughs> like, seriously. Like, but that's but what we got is. juice bars where there used to be chicken shacks. You understand what I'm saying? We like, still, we ain't get, we still waiting used for to the be weed I'm spots. waiting for the there's juice now, bars. Yeah, there's now uh, <laughs> juice bars and fucking health food stores. And shit. I'm waiting for the juice bars. Damn it. I want to go get a juice at 3 in the morning. I don't want to just be only limited to, well, now we got Wawa. <laughs> I don't want to just be limited to White oh, yeah, Castle that's a or the Donna. Jersey is Wawa. We ain't got Wawa in, in New York. You know that, right? That's as close to the juice bar as we get. <laughs> get you a, a fresh tuna fish sandwich, bitch, and call it a day. At the Wawa. <laughs> get you this chicken salad that's been, grilled chicken Caesar salad has been sitting on this counter for fucking 14 hours. Or or get your or go get a fucking big with Mac. the congealed mayonnaise. <laughs> um, but anyway, so listen, when we come back, yes, we're going to interview two spitters. That people, if you follow me in my Instagram page, you've probably seen me, you know, post these rappers before in the past and just have interactions and and try to. You know, bring attention to new up and coming, you know, rappers that I think is dope. Or, or it don't even have to be, always be new because one of these guys is not actually that new. But just, I mean, just, just, just a, rappers a that I think hip-hop. is at a at a high lyrical level. Exactly. Um, if you're ti- so, if you're tired of listening to bullshit that's on the radio right. and you do your own so uh, searching for good music, you should have come across well if i if we're gentlemen. gonna talk shit about what we don't like we should also give you examples of what we do like that's right so we're gonna come back we're gonna interview these brothers and then we're gonna pull up some 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 beats some music and we're gonna do some real hip-hop shit up in this motherfucker Word. you heard you now I mean god cast one peace the absence of all confusion. United we stand, divided we fall. Two fingers together, the real peace sign, y'all. Brand Nubian peace gear. Hoodies. T-shirts. Snapbacks. Available at hoodchee.com. Get yours today. Peace. Welcome back to the United Me and God cast. I'm Lord Jamal. And I'm Digger Digger. In the house right about now uh, on our Philly special. Yeah. I got two Philadelphia spitters. Yeah. Uh, well, one says he's from New York slash Philly. So, but for this purposes of this show, he's from Philly. So. <laughs> um. Yeah, you might know these guys uh, if you follow me on IG or anything like that. You might have seen me post these guys in the past. Um, I've known a few. I've known this one of these guys for a few years now. Uh, yeah. yeah, a couple Passive years by. now, at least two, three years. Uh, I've known this other guy, I don't know, a year or so now oh, maybe. Yeah, some yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce you to my right. R.J. Payne. What up, what up? Whoop, whoop. What up? And to Digger's left, we have my man Mad Squabbles in the yeah. house. Welcome to the Godcast, gentlemen. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to thank the you. Godcast. Thank you, thank you. Um, so we up here talking about, you know, Philly rappers and, and, and just, you know, there's a lot of dope rappers that have come out of Philly. Yeah. Like very rich legacy. Before we, we, we get into the interview part of all of this, I'm gonna ask each one of y'all, what do you think it is about Philly? Like like what's in the cheesesteak? What's in the water <laughs> that you see what I'm saying? Right. 
that 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 kind of brings about <laughs> such a high level of lyrical uh quality mm. i would say for me man poverty like mm. everybody hungry man like mm. when i say hungry i mean hungry mm. dudes ain't eating dudes ain't sleeping right mm. it's a different world than philly if you've never been there man it's i guess you can compare it to like a chicago or something it's just crazy mm. philly 24 7 is crazy so everybody has to be hungry to shine because everybody rap mm -hmm. mm. what yeah, you think squad that's true I mean, that's the best answer I could have came up with. You you know a, a different Philly, a different like type of Philly than me. Right. You know what I'm saying? I've seen a different side. Like I haven't seen like the, the raw, gritty, gritty. I've seen it, but I haven't like been surrounded yeah, right. with it. You know what I'm saying? So right. I would say like, you know, Philly got confidence. Philly got, you know what I'm saying? Philly got bars. Philly just, Philly got ambition. Like Right. So, okay. Let, let, let's let say for you who might not have come from such a but, poverty, like... But you're mad lyrical. Feed him the flow like it's medicine. Uh, fake, but I sound like a benefit. Uh, silence a desolate pessimist. Flow is so holy. Turn bros on the method. I've been so relentless. I've been on a mission. I've been killing shit, but no one seems to get it. I've been dodging drama, trying to find a witness. Watch as I go hide my side on the victim. Uh. Right. You see, and I and and I see that 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 line in a lot of Philly rappers. Right. So I'm saying it can't be just poverty. Nah, uh, like, like it got to be the upbringing. It it's be all the, of that. Yeah, like, yeah, like yeah. it's the mind frame. Like, to me, certain regions. I'm not gonna say they're dumb, but like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna say they're well. dumb. But certain regions don't come with as complex rhyme schemes yeah. as other regions do. I'll say yeah. certain regions are more simplified in their delivery, whereas. You know, you've you got some real complicated motherfuckers coming out of Philly. Like mm -hmm. Philly's so, a very artistic place. Right. right so that's right. what I'm saying. Like, is there something a little more deeper that we might can pinpoint of, of, of what even steered y'all to the way that you guys rhyme? I know for me, that was it for me. Like everybody where I'm from you know, dudes don't have the best jobs. They don't have the flyest cars. So the thing that you can do to, to shine the most is either rap or play ball. You know, hustling was kind of out the picture because we see where that go. Everybody pretty much go to jail. So you really had to rap to be somebody where I'm from anyway in Southwest Philadelphia. Yeah, for me, it's just basically uh, my upbringing. Like, I grew up listening to dope hip-hop, like mm -hmm. DMX, Big L, you know what I'm saying, Big Pun. So like, and I I always gravitated towards nice like the crop. multiple multiple syllable, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And like, even when Kendrick came out and everybody like that, like it just appealed to me, you right. know what I'm saying? So, were y'all good students <coughs> in school? Semi, semi. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie to you. Like, what about English and reading that and was shit my like that? Y'all y'all yeah. were good at that. Yep. Yes, best subject. Yeah, I think fair. that's definitely that's gotta be it, some sort of I like, you like know line that goes. I, through I like this. your comparison to Chicago because in Chicago you see you have the the one half where it's like the drill rap, right. the the poverty mm -hmm. side, the chief right. keep, keeps in them. Right. But then on the other side you have the artistic side, common, which is common, common and, and common, Kanye. Right, right, right. And I I actually I compare Philly a lot to Newark, and mm. we asked this question in the segment before you came in, and I said. I see Philly in the same way that I see Newark. A you know, it's an artistic place, right. but it's also a very poverty stricken uh place. Very and much. everyone in Newark rhymes and I feel like there's always been like this competition to outshine exactly. New York rappers. If like we we have to do twice or three right. times, you know, as much on a lyrical side to you know, to just get to that ed through. yeah, right. just to get through to the NY so side. so so I want to give the people quickly a brief history um and talk you know get a little into both of these guys backgrounds mm -hmm. uh so I want to start with RJ Payne uh who used who was formerly uh Rain Man yeah battle rapper yeah. battle rapper by the name of Rain Man you yes, were sir. actually like the MTV champion yes, yes sir Yep. I think I'm so sick I spit fevers. If you ain't like nothing that broke, chances are you won't like this either. This either my style is madness. Once you get burned, you turn into a pile of ashes. Murder any style of fast, this equally beef with me, and you can pick out your style of casket. Yo, daddy, I'm a child of bastard. First off, you don't want it. Not in the least. I'm on point when I'm spitting, when I'm rocking the beat. I'm on point, and you a girl. What you dropping this week? When was this? What, what year was, was this? In 2003. 2003 so yeah. briefly give people you know 
where you've been, mm. where you are, where you're going. Man, since then, you know, I've done a lot of um, underground stuff in Philly, you know, just... How'd you uh, get into hip-hop, real quick? Man, uh, for me, I think the first thing that made me want to rap was watching uh, House Party, man. When, when Kid and Play Battle... That was it. Really? Like, wow. That's <laughs> ironic. <laughs> that was it. That was it. Go ahead. Okay. I was literally sitting in a uh, movie theater with my brother, rest in peace, and I seen it. I ain't really care nothing about the movie. I was a kid, but I know the battle part. I don't know what this is, but mm. I want to be a part. Mm. And that, that started it right there. Like, all I wanted to do going to high school and junior high was just battle. Wow. We spent all lunch, all class periods just battling. Okay. And um, that just kept going. Make a long story short, I. Uh, I seen a commercial on TV one day that said, oh, if you dope, come down to uh, New York, try out for the MTV battle. Went out there, stood in line. They picked us out of, I think, a 1,000 people worldwide. Mm. Um, it was like a three-day thing. I won that joint. I uh, got a single deal with Def Jam. Um, I signed with a guy named Jimmy Henchman. I didn't know nothing about ah, that guy. Yeah, okay. okay. Yeah, um, my my history is crazy, so make a long story short. Did you see some gangster shit going on? Nah, but you know what? What I will say, I didn't see nothing gangster, but from everything I heard about that guy, he's the only person that I had met in the industry at that time that put money where his talk was. Mm. Everybody else was, you hot, you mm. dope. Jimmy was like, look, I don't want to talk. I don't really want to be your friend. I mm. see money. Right. I got a check for you. I understood right then, okay, this is this is serious business. So. I can co-sign that. Yeah. Too. Yeah, he's I've a, never worked with him personally, but I I, I can vouch for that. Yeah, he's story. about his business. Um, <clears throat> fast forward from that, just mad underground stuff, like you said, just battle rapping kind of here and there, wherever I can be seen. Mm -hmm. um, I moved down to, um, uh, down south probably about five years ago, just to get a job, get away from rap. I was mm -hmm. like, I'm I'm kind of done with rap. I don't have my deals. I just want to be a regular dude. Mm -hmm. So I moved down south, got a regular job. I started seeing how the internet was popping and how the rappers that couldn't really rap was still blowing up from just being seen. So I was like, I got to find a way to get in. Next thing you know, I just started doing the little videos, rapping in the car. Mm -hmm. um, along the way, Lord Jamar came along. He co-signed mm -hmm. it. You was actually the first person to, to really get behind it. Like, you reposted them joints. I remember, like, every day I posted one, you reposted mm -hmm. It, well, I was like, God damn, this dude's just keep coming and yeah. shit. Like his work ethic is retarded. Like that's dope. Um, Shouts out to Dandy Devastation too. She's a female that does mm. that. Like she does whole like wardrobe changes to just rhyme from damn. the. Like she's just literally like. <laughs> See, I come literally. From the, I come from the days of when you hear a rapper that you think is dope. Right. Like like. The first time you hear it, like they're gonna say some shit that you remember. Right. Or they're gonna, or and they're gonna say some shit that's like, you did you hear what this motherfucker said? Like mm -hmm. like right. like. And if you don't make me do those things, then you're not really you know mm -hmm. you I, right. you know what I mean? Right, like right. you I, but you know both of y'all have definitely you know made me do that on more than one occasion. Oh. Um, so yeah, I, I I reposted your shit. Right. And and right at and that time pe then people start fucking with yeah, you. So it went, it went huh? crazy. And like you said, at that time people kinda knew me as the Rain Man name, but I was like, while I was down south, I really wanted to just be myself. You know what I mean? I was like, I'm tired of stage names, I'm tired of being a character. So I kind of just took a letter from, you know, my first name, letter from my middle name, my uh, my father's last name, because I got two last names. That was it. RJ Payne was born. Once you reposted it, Pete Rock, I'll be sure. Missy Elliott, people I can't even think of right now. I'm going to tell you, having it. a good name That's is dope. I saw Black Thor shout you out. He shout out too. to Black Thor, man. Yeah, he showed me a lot of love. RJ Payne is a good name. Um, So, yeah, Black Thor been showing yeah. you love. Who else yeah. showing um, you love? My, like said, my boy, shout out, I'll be sure. Yeah, I'll be sure show major love. Um, um, We got um, Sauce Money. Okay. Um, Yuck Mouth from the Loonies. Um. So many people, I don't believe I'm drawing a blank right now. Nah, uh, that's the way it be. Doesn't Listen, it make yeah. you feel good as an OG? Like, yes, I saw him first. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Listen, Pete Rock, man, Pete Rock. Shout out to Pete Rock too. Because, because I, I I've always had that like A and R, just eye for talent type of shit in me. Like, and it always kind of surprised me that nobody ever like was like, but but uh, you know, I guess they don't know. But right. 
I did it well, before. That's, that's our job. You know what man. I mean? Dead pre- you gave us dead press, man. And I'm going to keep on doing it. Like, I, you know what I mean? Right. Like, as long as I got an ear and eyes and all of that, I know some shit when I hear it. That's so, right. um, yeah. I mean, RJ Payne. Yeah. You that fucking guy. Uh, Mad Squabbles. Yes, sir. I heard this young man... How old are you right now? I'm 21 now. You're 21, but you were like 17. 17, 17 18. Yeah, 18. Yeah, yeah. When I first met you. Definitely. And we've sh- done some shows together. Yeah, a couple shows. This mm-hmm. couple shows. Mm-hmm. Dope. Yeah. Uh, you know, the thing that both of y'all have is just a consistency of, you know, of a, of a work ethic. You just keep consistently putting things right. out like... Not getting discouraged and just saying, this is me, world. And, and right. I'm going to just keep coming and coming and coming until y'all acknowledge me. Right. You know what right. I mean? Right. Um, so I'm not even sure how I first got on to you. Maybe your pop sent me something. Or, yeah, it had to be. Yeah. 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 And, and you know, a lot of times, you know, people send me shit all the time. So right. it's right. like, I'm not going to always listen, to be honest. Right. But. You know, the universe, everything happens for a reason. Definitely. And Definitely. obviously, I press play and said, whoa, <laughs> little young boy is nice. So, like, you know what so, I mean? Yeah. And shit. I, yeah, it was dope, man. He came to, came to Philly. Came down to Philly. Met, and, uh, met across the street from, uh, where was that? And we went, met, met at Max's, boy. Oh, yeah, I, yeah, I, don't yeah, fuck yeah. I was about to say, <laughs> gotta be Max's. Met at Max's. <laughs> yeah, we definitely did. <laughs> yeah. Do? Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah and that was love. That and was you've love. been doing, you know, I've been watching you develop. Mm-hmm. And grow, and you know what I mean. He's yeah. one of those projects. You just, you, you know, he's a seed that's planted, and you just gotta watch it grow. Right. Like, you know yeah. what I mean. Yeah. Like, he's super dope, but it's like you still, you know what I mean. Right. Especially yeah. at that time, right? Mm-hmm. You still need that development. And, well, I, you know I had the I mean? pleasure Allow of seeing the you perform. To, yeah, yeah get and, more pressure. And yeah. and and normally I'm usually getting to the venue like right as it's my time to perform. Like very me rare too. do I get to see the artist before me. Right. But for whatever reason, I was actually early because uh, you was meant to see it. Yep. Right. And mm-hmm. I and I saw this brother. I was like, wow, okay, he's dope. And then like That's I just right. and then when his name popped up on a you know a few more flyers after that, I was like, wait, I, I you know I'm I know this name, I know this artist. That's okay, dope. so it's good. Good that you're here, man. Now, definitely, now, now, definitely. now, what's your what's your history like? How'd you get into hip hop? You know, who's your influences? All that type of stuff. Like, all right. So I got uh, before I was rapping, I was singing. You know what I'm saying? My mm. grandfather died when I was like ten, and it just brought something out of me. I felt like I was always an outcast. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And I, I didn't really like. I didn't talk around when I was around peers because I just felt like. Why? Like, why would I when y'all just gonna turn around and try to play me or something like that? You know what I'm saying? Mm. So, yeah. that's that's how I felt most of my childhood. And then I stopped singing around probably 13, 14, and I started rapping around 15. It was just music, man. Music is, I feel like it's just in me. You know what I'm saying? It's just something that was pulling me, like kept pulling me. Mm. And uh, even when I didn't want to do the singing no more, you know what I'm saying? For whatever reason, uh, my my cousin, we were sitting on his his step. You know what I'm saying? And he was like, yo, let's start a rap group. I'm like, nigga, I can't rap. What you talking about? <laughs> and then he was like, bro, just just try to write something. I'm like, all right. So I wrote my first rap on his step. And then from there, everybody was saying that I was hot. You know what I'm saying? Keep going, keep going. And of course, I was, you know, mediocre but at the time. But, you know what I'm saying? People were telling me that I was on the right track. And you know that's what I'm all you needed exactly, to. Exactly, yep. Fuel so, your fire. Yep, mm-hmm. definitely. So... Uh, some of my influence, it's a lot. It's a lot. Uh, like I said, DMX, Big L, Big Pun, uh, Nas. Uh, I've been listening to a lot of Cool G rap uh, lately. Um, Kendrick. His, his newer stuff or his, his older, older stuff? His older stuff. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Kendrick, of course, Chance, the rapper. Uh, who else? Yeah, it's, 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 it's a lot. I'm drawing a blank, too. So, mm. But you get you get the gist. <laughs> Now, it's always interesting to me when I meet a, a artist like as young as yourself, like how how hard is it to stay like devoted to your lane when it's so much like mumble rap and, right. and everywhere around right. you like these right. these guys are just thriving with, you know, yeah. knowing that they they're nowhere near, right. you know, your level of, of MCing. Like how do you stay disciplined enough to be like, yo, I don't give a fuck at the end of the day. This is what I do. Well yeah, I always always kinda of been that type of person. 
to like you know stand out. Like I was, I never ran with a crowd. Like you know what I'm saying. I never chased clout. Like being with other people. You know what I'm saying. So like it's kind of easy for me. Dope. You know what I'm saying. Just to be myself, cause that's what I've been. I've been practicing that all my life. So you know. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Good for you, man. What about you? That the same question for you. <clears throat> What just the influences? Like, how do you? Well, well, not well just actually, the actually, I would like to know who your influences are. No, okay, Definitely. go ahead. And then also, how do you, you know, how do you retain a certain authentic hip hop style in the and not be tempted to 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 be like, skr, skr. Right, yeah, right. yeah, yeah, <laughs> like 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 you know what I'm yeah. saying? Um, get to the funny. <laughs> my main influences is Pun, um, Sean Price. Mm. Nice. Um, Jay, of course. Big, of course. Mm. And I got to throw Big L in there. That's like my top five. Oh, you got some real spirits up yeah, in you. Yeah, that's okay. probably my go-tos. Um, just as far as staying on my track, I think it's just um, realizing that it's an audience for the hip-hop that I grew up on. You know what I mean? Like I thought, um, as they say, this type of hip-hop that we do is not selling right now. It's not popular. So... I've realized that the people that are checking through these Instagram videos and all that, they actually care. They come from where we come from. So now that I've realized that it's an audience for what we specialize in, that's all I want to do. We so are, there's a word that. for it. We are Boom Baptists. Oh, now, Baptist. it's a religion. Uh -huh. you're, about to, you're about to get Boom Baptized in a little bit. Facts. Um, now, you know you favor Pete Rock and uh, Big Boom. L. Right? <laughs> I hear it. Wow. I hear it. It's weird. <laughs> Shout out to my man. Uh, Pete Rock, uh, this is your stunt the double Chocolate over Boy here. Wonder. This, we, we got a stunt double for y'all. <laughs> Actually, y'all yeah. need to uh, make a record together. and We already got one. Oh. Video coming soon, man. We got one. Holla. Okay. Yes, yeah. Y'all should make some shit where y'all like looking in the mirror or some shit. <laughs> that like, would be dope. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, <laughs> Come on, B. I, direct I, I fact, I'll direct the shit. Yeah. See? Or you so, woke up as, I woke up as P. Rock. P. Rock. Yo, that might be dope. Oh, and he woke up dope. as R.J. Payne. That's, that, that might be crazy. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, okay. Well, listen, fuck all the bullshit. Like, like, nice to meet y'all and all like, of that well, type absolutely. of shit. Absolutely. But I want I'm, I'm people... digging the jacket, by the way. The, Thank you. That's a, a hashtag Thank I use all the time. Legends hashtag never legends die. never die. Facts. I, I, I want the people to, you know, really understand why y'all even here. For real, for real. So when we come back, we're going to get into some hip-hop shit. We're going to play some beats. We're going to have some lyrics going. Yeah. And yeah, fuck all the bullshit. We're going to get to it. You know what I mean? God cast. Peace. It's the absence of all confusion. United we stand, divided we fall. Two fingers together is the real peace sign, y'all. Brand Nubian peace gear. Hoodies. T shirts. Snapbacks, available at hoodgee.com. Get yours today. Hey, yo, peace. Welcome back to the United Mean God cast. I am Lord Jamal. And I'm Digga Digga. And uh, we are having our Philly special right now. Right on, our right on. Our Philly MC special right now. And in the house with me, we have RJ Payne and my boy Mad Squabbles in the motherfucking house. Even though they ain't bring us no maxes. Oh, oh man. <laughs> funny though. Oh you, oh, you know we gonna get, we had to, we had to get you. Squabble said he was bringing it, man. What happened? <laughs> no, 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 no. Slip my mind. Don't, bl don't blame it on the young man. I know, man. You said you was bringing it. I know. Man. Okay? I know. And man. you didn't bring it. I know. Okay? It was either I, I come late, I'm sorry, man. But the God came through and yeah, I'm here, man. supplied <laughs> some pizza pies, which is, you know, 
pales in comparison to Max's, but yeah. uh, you know, yeah. we'll have to just suffer. Priorities, damn it! You could have been late. <laughs> we needed Max's. Damn. All right. <laughs> nah. If you'd like right. to donate to the show and allow us to get some Max's, uh, <laughs> go to cash.me slash dollar sign. You know what I mean? Uh, Patreon.com slash you know what I mean? Or you know what I mean? Dot com slash support. Them motherfuckers, them sandwiches be as long as your motherfucking yeah. oh, arm, right? Mm, facts. Good as a motherfucker. All right, so anyway, uh, when we left, you know, we was talking about, you know, bars. some of your influences and bars and all that mm -hmm. type of shit. And I just feel like enough with the talking. Right. Enough with the regular talking. Let's start rhyming. Let's start rapping. So, Digger. Yeah. I think you got a track over there. Yeah, man. From a producer named. Theory Has It. Theory Has It. Shouts out to you. Shout out to Theory Has It. Um, We're going to let the young man lead it off right about now on some, uh, on some shit. And, you know, shit. Let's do make, what we do. Yeah, let's do what we do. Let's make this shit go viral. Real hip hop shit in this motherfucker. You know what I mean? God cast. Go, some real baby. cypher shit. Let's go. After the Great Revolt, human beings were forced to develop their minds. Clue how I maneuver the funds Fraudulent authors breaking codes Was never true to the thumbs I'm practicing abstinence Affluent the suitable son They react erratic When I rap It's like they new to the buzz Exclusively scarred I'm Zeus with the bars Usually evolved And they sounded like Dr. Seuss With all these foolish remarks I'm the illest The spit of sentence We rappers get sentimental Settle like sediment While I'm severing instrumentals Look This whack shit Got me agitated The sad thing is That's where way more than Half of the masses gravitating I plan to adapt The changes and gravity the nation. And for you actors who claim you rappers, I'll add a sanction. Whip them in the shape quickly. Plus, I spit a vicious venom that'll leave you niggas in the grave. Six feet is curtains. Just casually snapping to crack the surface. And snatch the crowd, yeah, that's for certain. Uh, I've been leaning towards killing these niggas. I got a knack for just smacking the rapper backwards for acting. Had to harass him with verbal acid and adjectives. Have your brain splatter, remains rancid and blasted on stage after I bash your men. Heavily tatted with battle wounds. My raps is miraculous. Rappers won't have a chance to snooze. I'm causing commotion. It's hard to be focused with all of these poses and all of these hoaxes. Regardless, you will all be eroded. I'm a neck snapper. Dream killer. The deck the stature. Supreme villain. Pristine living. Limited access. I roll around with reckless intent. Rhyming with passion and light of reaction. I am revived and highly elaborate. Nervous rappers. Be living in anguish. Picking and ripping up pages. Imminent pain. Itching to get in your brain. And then it gets sent to the grave. It's mad squabbles. Deliver wrath. I spit the saddest gospel. These haters mad. I'm who the masses flock to. Uh, Every line is urgent, every verse is like a murder scene Spit it cause I'm gifted, never was in it for the currency Currently urgent herbs, I'm stressed What's the word? These rappers getting me vexed Tip hop is gonna return, that's actual facts Nigga, this is factual rap When I spit, I cause panic attacks Take a man's to relax, as a matter of fact I damage a track, bound to adapt Too much passion to slack, every beat I have to attack I sleep when I'm dead, prestigious with these pieces of lead Verbal sedative bars will leave a nigga fiending for meds Mass murder will make him scream as if a demon in the pen. You gon' need to prepare rehearsals, I delete your career A psycho killer, the maestro, cause my flow gifted I might grow livid, I might go and smite your mission Mission complete, my mind's prolific, peculiar beats Make a fool of you fake ass rappers, I'm through with you creeps uh, Murder rappers for shock value, I'll use any tactic to have me enamored after my bowels move I'm shitting on them like cows do, haters can't move me Cause the flows he brew could hurt or devout you I'm still in route to give out truth, they ain't nothing but penis hop Doing stranger things for the clout too I'm about to hit them with something that'll make their mouth droop Essentially parched, plundering in the drought Ooh, they gassed up, that's why I give them L's You'll be sparred with Armageddon as long as I plan to give them hell Tip the Richter scale with a wicked spell Deliver these scriptures quickly, get you sick as a cripple with sickle cell The best thing walking, no testing It's a blessing for those who have yet to meet this pristine coffin Then proceed to redeem losses, regimes lawless Y'all
I'm more exhausted than team boppers who breathe awkward Steady packing these rappers for lunch Gather and stand in the muck Cause every single bar is an accurate punch Rhymes will have you suck in the cask and the sunk Gasping and lacking the lung Who knew that I would actually be having them stuck Through these trials I spit the truth for style And it's a fluent sound Spent the wise penny for wisdom And now I'm proving clowns Niggas think I'm stupid I'm viewing through all your foolish mouths Confusing how you losers Hate on the movement and moving proud uh, hilarious, you a joke Precarious, it's embarrassing Bury him with the flow Prepare a wicked scenario Various to choke Bout to blow in your area Even terrorists peak the smoke uh, It's mad squabbles Don't ever doubt or forget the name When I rap, it sounds like I spit with rage And that's just the aim Regurgitate every verse I lay There's a person slain But guarantee that person Won't have to leave in that hearse in vain uh, Ah, uh, mad squabbles I was say, I'm the beat <laughs> Squabbles. Lamps available on all platforms now. Say what? God. Lamps, my new project. First of all, what's your what, what's what's everybody? What's this? <laughs> <laughs> I'm flustered. <laughs> what, what what's your uh social media? Social media, everything is M A D S Q U A B L Z. That's uh you could put it in the Google and everything will pop up. I don't think nobody else in the world got the name Mad Squabbles, so it's pretty easy to find. Goodness gracious, the papers. Where the cash at? <laughs> Where the stash at? Right. Like every time I thought he's about to stop, he put it back. I'm like, oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, keep going, going. pill. Keep going, keep Yo. going. Fire. Appreciate Crazy. the opportunity. I feel the uh, the heat turned up in the motherfucking room right about now. <laughs> the mother rappers be on the radio talking about something. I don't spit, baby. I don't spit, baby. This is what? this is what we talking about with Philly rappers. Like that was some. Crazy shit right there. Now, anybody else of a lesser constitution <laughs> would have heard what you just did and said, oh, I'm not going after that. Mm -mm. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I'm out of here. But. <laughs> oh, oh, God. No, no, not not in not in uh in twenty eighteen. No, they straight coming to the station like no, nah, I don't I don't ride. Well, don't first of all, you know yeah, what struck me, what that, struck man. me uh, real quick before we get into this is your diction. Like like not only are you saying complex shit, but I can hear every word precisely, crisply, articulated well, right. opposite of what is called mumble rap. Right. Like these motherfuckers are not even saying anything complex and they still can't say it clearly. <laughs> hey. What the fuck? But anyway, so, oh, dope shit, my D. Appreciate it. Crazy. Now, we are gonna get into some shit right here. What a lot of people have been waiting for, especially a lot of my Instagram followers, because shit, I probably posted your videos more than any other rapper Thanks. just because you just, by sheer volume, and just beat me in the head with shit that I just could not deny. Like, and, and, and you're good for putting a man's name up in the motherfucking rap, too. Definitely. Definitely. Almost forcing a nigga hand, like, <laughs> Lord Jamal's. Oh. This yeah. nigga <laughs> shouting me out the Now I gotta post the motherfucking shit. <laughs> this nigga know what he doing. Anyway, uh, with no further ado, ladies and gentlemen, my man, R.J. Payne. Don't nobody know nothing? Yeah. <clears throat> mm. What up with this? You got Fucked intros up. and shit. Fucked, Fucked up big time. You're incapable of running this New shit. York in the building. Sick. Your five dollar ass down before I make change. Jersey in the building. Lord Jamal. Shout out to Jersey. Digger, digger. Squabbles. Pain. Look. Bet against me, no nigga, every word effortlessly wrote Definitely dope, a rapper diss me, that are getting smoked No mumble rap, just wordplay, excellently spoke I humble cats, the birds spray, death is the approach I speak proper, but that don't mean I don't keep choppers I talk facts, my heart black, Tyreek try to these rappers A peach cobbler, they sweet, my heat hotter boutique Nigga, my voice Versace, I speak Prada, woo! So when he back talk, you're dead. Give me silent treatment. I feel like black thought with dreads. Quest love, deeply rooted. Short my bread. I'm a George Jefferson. Walk right across your head. They say the world ain't familiar yet. Fuck it, they about to be Martin Luther the King. Look who made it 
off the balcony. The dream ain't dead. I don't know how niggas doubted me. Greatest rapper alive. If I'm not, I'm about to be. Come on, I'm set tripping on these copycats. I pull up to your building, paint your lobby black. Get your body snatched. I call a ratchet Casanova. Shoulda hit you two times and knock your body back. Try to steal from me, then get another plan. I chop your fingers off and then I drop them in the other hand. Niggas love to stretch the truth, that's the rubber band I get the drop, then drop you from the roof, that's the gutter man oh, oh. These niggas steal your shit and call it paying homage If you got the heart to bite, my niggas say it honest mm. I take your life in return, a shot I take your knowledge Cracks in your head, a side effect of the Reaganomics mm. Get mm. your own lane and stay out of mind We can't occupy the same space, nigga, bottom line mm. All these new school niggas ain't stopping mine Shaka Khan, I feel for you niggas when it's chopper time Sick of being bitter, you rappers did it, that's the limit Body bags dropping every half a minute Next thing is still from me thinking that's the ticket I'ma air them out on IG and I'ma tag them in it Pain, <laughs> manslaughter with the bars I shit on a mere mortal with the aura of a god This who, I pull up when you recording on your blog Blue still, cold enough to turn water into fog, yeah Diarrhea flow, I wrote it with a laxative Compare them to me as the goat to the bath of me I wrote something blasphemous The burner so big, I put it in my hoodie And the clip is poking out the back of it The ratchet work, I'm beat like I was Captain Kirk Flashing lights, you'll think I'm reenacting birth This a classic verse Them blue lights in LA the other night Was when aliens sent me back to Earth I say fuck it more, I ain't ducking shit These niggas on they hoverboards, I'm on my mother's ship I'm hotter than the oven door, put on your oven mitts I rap pro, hacksaw, Jim Duggan shit yeah! The angel and the demon, so the guard is wicked I dare you blame it on me when Lord Jamar did it uh -huh. I'm up to par with it See, I'm the truth of the booth of the million pieces You'll think a fucking car hit it Giddy up, time to fuck the city up They don't walk big pun back and walk biggie up Conan, I use both hands to hold blicky up Black Hawk, a nigga down, the eagle is a pick me up Sip him up, K-Shine motto K-9 follow Pitbull, clip full, I'm Ray John Rondo Try and get that M, then lay out in Cabo Knock you right out your Tim's, pull a gauge out the Tahoe Yeah I go viral with a verse I was born on a UFO that spiraled in the earth Homicidal, I put your idols in a hearse Whenever the guards speak a nigga quiet in the church They askin' where I been at Somewhere in between where the jungle and the gym at I walk up in the booth, they be asking where my pen at But I ain't gotta write it, I just recite it See, I don't think you fully comprehend that The burner sing you a melody, call it Simon That bitch pretty with no filter, that doggy diamonds If niggas don't know by now, I sure remind them If it's anybody iller than me, be sure to sign them It's pain Hey yo. That was fun. Yes, it was. Shit, that was a workout. Hold up. I mean, we don't have to be fully done. We, <laughs> we got about five more minutes left. Um, that was great. Okay, hang on. As I'm listening to that, first of Ooh. all, psh, my nigga. Thank you, brother. You too. Thank you. Hey, hey. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> give me don't some. Let me hang on. She choking. Give me some. Um, thank you, thank you. What? Listen. Thank you. Thank you. Yo, as, as I listen to both of y'all and the emotions come over me and I start smiling and all the, I just started to think to myself, you see what real hip hop does to a motherfucker? Like you see how it makes you feel? Do you see when y'all listen to what y'all just heard? How you was affected emotionally, internally, like, like, I don't You're going to be rewinding I'm this I'm almost shit. scared to see the faces I was making while they was right. Oh, I'm almost scared to watch my oh, face. Oh, 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 we both full ugly face. Harold's going to do a side-by-side. -side. Like, We're going to have side-by-side like, -side ugly face. <laughs> like, there was nothing pretty about that. Nothing. Yeah. But that's what real fucking hip-hop and lyrics will fucking make you do. Absolutely. Um... Shit, can we I, squeeze in a little more? I, I, I'd like to do a back to back real quick. You could do your thing. Shoot huh? it off. You can huh? shoot it off, bro. 
Huh? What about that other beat you had? It don't matter. That's fine. Is it okay? Look at you being greedy. Come on, why not? <laughs> or, or what about that other beat that I was playing? Well, no, nah, I think that. Oh, that was. That was like maybe enough time. Here, let's try this one. Let's try this one. Yeah, that okay with you? Yeah, that's great. Check, check, uh. I'm just a poet, it seems Devoted with a dose of your schemes Approaching king status now You can't approach the regime Flag of the play I have to shatter your hopes and your dreams I rap with a taste of acrobatics Provoking disease The kind of flow to bring the Pope to his knees Approaching defeat Spoken with ease Choking them seeds You can only hope to succeed The vocals appease the motive Notice my stock shift I flow till I reach the throne That creep me the crap shit uh, I'm beyond timid The phenom scripted for eons They sleep on a gifted I respond different I run up in your fort at night With the simple intent Intention to leave you niggas in the pain. triage I'm rapping elite This a massacre, that African heat Spectacular, fuck these rappers I'd rather compete Don't give me that, just have you a seat Snapple facts, I don't do no battles on smack I slap you to sleep, it's Ooh. pain I'm something different, who hotter? You fucking tripping, uppercutter Split your shit, it look like I've been cutting chicken Hit man for hire, fire Buster Smith and four burners But this ain't Here the kind of your fucking Squabble. It's an antagonist to an atom and activist flow Peep the parameter, rappers carrying an amateur soul The strategists are Hold amethyst stones, the barriers broke, bearing the load, scaring my foes. I've been embarrassing most, keeping them buried under various souls. Souls sent to a new dimension. You a bad memory, lack pedigree, rash tendencies grow. Swift with the fluency flow, give yeah. different to it. Yeah. Most. I've been the feeling it right. These bars get my social media hype. Talk heavy, these rap niggas still pedia like. I'm out this world, that's a media right. Caught so many bodies, I can't keep count, but Wikipedia might. Black Panther, I write the shit that Mr. Feeney would like. Black Pistol, I'm throwing bullets. Willie beaming tonight Niggas be looking for a reason to fight I'm living good, I'm slinging wood Don't make me have to dirt G to your wife It's pain You ain't lifted by my music, then carry on My rarest form would knock him out the park Like I'm Barry Bonds And the twins, the tearing cars will be barely worn And understand I'm not the one to mess with like Eddie Long I am not a mad rapper I rap to get rappers mad after My punches hit his neck and deliver back spasms Back snapping next Rappers have to acquiesce to passion Cause on any instrumental I resemble cash. My mind right, fuck all the limelight the time's right, nine right, behind your head, hope you got hindsight Prime night, dress to kill, still in my prime tight Shine bright, my women black, I like my wine white Rhyme deeper, pure melanin, non-ether I'm eager to kill a mumble rapper, the timekeeper uh, Every word written is gangster, Don Diva Can't be decoded by 85ers uh, or swine Listen, eaters. I'm back with the bars Smash tracks without an accurate cause Lyrical tactics strong enough to do some damage to God Smack a rapper and have his vanity gone Answering your scarred, I'll gladly shatter your heart And take the battery charge as a matter of fact, I'll snap your neck in half of this bar Spontaneous with my vernacular, cracking your jaw The jagged edge to a dagger, I'll jab your abdomen I'm an Adam, an advocate for leaving whack rap with a loss Until I master the art, I spit these hazardous thoughts Leave you with the lack of a thought that you should rap anymore I approach a poser with plans to turn a man to a corpse Against this ill mind, let's see who hops in and gets scorched uh. Okay, oh! Wrapped out, wrapped out You fucking whack! Rapper motherfucker yeah. out there. I'm, I'm honest, Do you hear I'm this honest, shit? Bro, yeah. That's love. God damn. Hold on. You welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, no, you know what? You got that. I ain't even gonna front. You're I welcome. mean, I just like in history, you know, some motherfuckers be having that one verse ready to go for radio. <laughs> and then the motherfucker asks them, yo, you wanna so go no. again? They like, oh no. shit. So uh, I, I didn't know so, you were gonna say that. So I was subliminally, I was subliminally Wonder. giving you that window. Cause right. I like, you know, just just cause you know, cause I just just in case, but they like, fuck you, what? <laughs> we got bitch, we got bars up in here. Fuck em. <laughs> Came ready. I Yo. love it. Thank y'all so much. Thank oh my y'all. god. That's, that's, thank y'all. Um, wait before we leave, cause um, yeah, make the people familiar with your social media. Gotta give them your social media. All my social media. I am R J Payne. Um, you can reach all my music. I am R J Payne dot com. That's I A M R J P A Y N E. Like I said, you could just put my name in the Google. Everything will pop up. I just dropped the album. Uh, type in my name, M A D S Q U A B L Z. My album is called Lamps. It's on all platforms. Go check it out now. Peace. Okay, I got I got a rapid fire question for both of y'all. Yeah. Kid Capri or Funk Master Flex? Kid mm-hmm. Capri. Mm. Kid Capri. Rapid fire question for you: Kid Is Capri. LeBron staying or is he leaving? Kid Capri. <laughs> Kid Capri. Kid Capri. <laughs> 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 right. Right. 
Uh, listen, I have to do a shout out real quick. We because, sweating up in this oh, bitch. Man, I'm, <laughs> hot. I, I'm sweating. I, we ain't even rhyming. <laughs> and we sweating. Like, we was rhyming. Um, so. I got a shout out uh, for my man, Rage, who do my website and all that type of shit. Uh, I promise I'd shout out. Uh, I want y'all to look out for the Global Artist Showcase Sunday, July 21st at the Black Lady Theater in Brooklyn. Returning a premium standard to artist showcasing. New artists sign up at globalartistshowcase.net. Um, yeah, it might be dope. Uh, y'all, y'all might even want to yes, sir. Sure. think about fucking around. I'll let y'all know about it when it comes yeah. out. Uh, shout out to my man Rage <coughs> at Web Slinger Media. Oh, uh, yeah. Whew. That was fantastic. Man, that Can was we fun. keep them? <laughs> <laughs> well, what we can do is is give them a a open door policy to come Dope. back anytime yes. they like sure. to Dope. spit more fucking bars and let people know you got any upcoming projects real quick that any people should know about okay. current projects videos, out now? whatever yeah. the case may be oh, plug yeah. away okay you start Oh, I, I talked about oh, the that's album it? last right. year. Um, I got a new joint out right now, Triple Seven, hosted by DJ Duwop. You can okay. get that right now on imrjpain.com. Duwop. Um, I got a new EP I just dropped as well, Kill the King, Take the Throne. I got a new joint dropping right after that, probably in a couple weeks, man. I just be working. Jamal know how I do. He be going hard, y'all. Right. And uh, yeah, if you want, if you want to get this man, you know, book him for a show or get him on some verses, and you Holla got your paper God. right. Holla at me and, and we'll make that happen. Just have your bars ready because you don't want to get yeah. on your own shit. Facts. <laughs> yeah, Facts. And, and have your bread ready too. Word. We're not doing this free shit no more. But anyway, <laughs> uh, listen, man, I appreciate both of y'all coming up and here. First of all, they both uh, rode up here from Philly today. So I want to thank y'all for, yes, you know, blessing us and, and, yes, and sir. you know, taking our show seriously. To, Word. To, you know. Take that ride up the turnpike. To All come is see forgiven your for not having the yeah. max. Thank you, man. Thank you. Right, yeah. <laughs> All is forgiven. Now, 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 next time, though. I will bring the Maxis. It's rapping, yeah. It's not going <laughs> to just be enough. I yeah, know you. you know, your bars are okay, but what's yeah. up with that uh, <laughs> with is, that cheesesteak, dude? It's the way, you. yeah, to a motherfucker's heart. But um, listen, I hope y'all enjoyed this as much as I believe. Obviously, we Digger did. and I. Yeah. enjoyed this um yeah you know if you uh you know you want to see more of this keep fucking with us from week to week Word. uh and until next week i hope you know you all stay blessed and safe and keep fucking with this real hip-hop and Slapping the shit out of those fucking <laughs> mumble rappers. <laughs> with I the fly broke swatter. the swatter. Yeah, fuck the swatter. Up. <laughs> I broke the swatter. Damn. Where's that fly? Did we ever catch that fly? Uh, I'm mean, catching release on the I told you I was going to Oh, yeah, true, release. true. But once again, for You Not a Mean Godcast, I am Lord Jamal. And I'm Digga Digga. Peace. Peace. Divided we fall. Two fingers together is the real peace sign, y'all. Brand Nubian peace gear. Hoodies. T shirts. Snapbacks. Available at hoodchee.com. Get yours today.